Hi, this is Matt Garrett, and this is a quick video for blogtactics.com. You'll find it on the videos page on blogtactics.com. What we're going to look at in this video is how to add a fan page box or widget, uh, complete with like tick box for your fan page to your blog, something like this. Okay, so Blog Tactics has a fan page called Blog Marketing, and this is a widget that appears in the sidebar that is updated from the Facebook fan page with the updates so that people can see what's going on. They can click on like, they can go to the individual uh, posts on the fan page, all from the sidebar in the blog. Okay, so that's what we're going to have a look at how to add that to a blog. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go to our fan page. In this case, it's a fan page I've set up called The Best Bits. And you click on the little down arrow here from your profile and go to Use Facebook as a Page and just choose whichever page it may be. In this case, Best Bits. So we're not clicking on the Switch button here. We're clicking on the link for the actual fan page itself. And it will take you through to the fan page. And what you're interested in is the Add Like box. Okay, That's what we're going to do. However, before we do that, we actually need to get the URL for the fan page. Now, if I pull this window down a bit so you can see the URL in the top here, the actual URL that I need is this bit. Now, you'll notice I've actually already got a vanity URL for my fan page. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to simply paste that into a text pad so I've got a copy of it. Now, if you haven't got your vanity page yet, then the URL will look different. It will look something more like this. This is another fan page I have that doesn't have a vanity URL yet. So in this case, I'd need to grab the whole thing, including the long number at the end. And again, Control c to copy that. And I'll paste that into the text pad instead to make a note of it. So you'll notice a difference there. This one where I've got the vanity URL, I've actually got the name for the pan, fan page called The Best Bits, whereas this other one where I haven't got the vanity URL yet, it's still called pages forward slash home dash business dash report forward slash and then a long number. Okay, now it used to be that you needed 25 people to like your fan page before you could get this vanity URL. However, I just set this one up and only had four individual likes and I can already get the vanity URL. So I suspect they've now changed that. Uh, if necessary, you just need to wait until you've got 25 people to like it. But as I said, this one I just grabbed immediately. So hopefully you can do the same thing. So grab whichever URL you're going to use and then go back to the fan page itself. And I'm just going to rearrange this so that we can get back to where we need to be. And we're now going to click on Add Like Box. Okay, so simply click on Add Like Box and it'll take me through to the next page. And obviously, because I've got a short URL here, I can just remember it and type it in uh, the best bits. Um, if I had the long URL, that's why I copy it into a text pad because you can simply highlight it again, copy and paste it in there without having to remember that long number at the end. Okay. Now, having typed in the best bits on here, you can see it's actually gone and found the information I need. So the latest posts from this fan page. The like is grayed out because I've already clicked on like on this, um, but anybody else coming to this new would actually see the like button ready to click on. And the width, the blog that I'm actually going to put this on has a sidebar that is just one column and it's fairly wide. I think it's something like 240. So what I'm going to do is change that width to 240. And if I then click somewhere else on the page, it'll update, update it. Now, it might actually be 250, but 240 looks like it's okay. You can play around with the other settings, show faces, change the border color, show the stream, yes or no, show the header, yes or no, and even change the uh, color scheme here as well. I tend to leave it as a default because it fits with the particular theme that I'm using. So all I then need to do is click on Get Code, and it will give me some HTML code. And if I highlight all that, Control C will allow me to copy it or right click and choose copy. And then what I'm going to do again is I'm going to pop that into that text pad so I've got a copy of it. Okay, now we need to go across to the blog and actually pop it on the blog. Okay, so looking at my blog, I'm going to put it in the sidebar and I think I'm going to put it under the recent posts. I'll probably move the Amazon uh, bar down a bit or the Amazon widget. A down a bit further on that sidebar. So obviously you need to log in and go to the appearance part of your blog control panel and go to widgets. And once the widgets page comes up, 
all we need to do is choose a text widget, which we've got one here. So I'm going to drag that and pop it in, uh, let's say here, and simply copy and paste that text or that HTML that we got for the fan box, pop it in there, and I'll actually put Facebook, oops, I spell it right. I did spell it right. Facebook fan page and click on save. Watch for it to update. And once it's update, I can minimize that. And that's now appearing after my recent post. So I'm going to take this other text, which is the Amazon widget, and just move it down under the links to split things up a little bit. Okay. If we now come back to our blog and hit refresh, hopefully, if all things go well, we should now have our fan page box appearing there we go okay it's that quick and easy to actually get that onto your blog you can see it's updated uh, anybody new coming to this blog who hasn't already liked the fan page they would actually have the ability there to click on the like and like your fan page so you can start building your fans on your fan page directly from your blog uh, if you haven't actually seen this blog post it's called bear on a wire on thebestbits.com and uh, it, it's very, very funny. Uh, Canadian bears are obviously quite adept at getting birdhouses and this warning sign, hilarious. So well worth visiting and having a look at it. But that's all you need to do. So you grab that code from the fan page, from the add like box, pop it in to a text widget, pop it on to your sidebar and you're up and running, okay? Very, very easy to do. Uh, and as I said, this video is on blogtactics.com with all the other blog tutorial videos under the video section. Okay, thanks very much for watching.